So we're having a look through some of the items from the Chamber's archives. The Chamber was founded in 1813 and we recently found out that we've got over 800 records and items that have been produced or given to the Chamber over the years. What we're looking at here is the very first memorandum issued after our very first meeting back in 1813, which is a lovely document for the Chamber still to have. This is incredible. It's in a wallet where, you know, the Birmingham Commercial Society says, you know, not to be destroyed. And, and what it actually uh, talks about, or, or sort of outlines, I guess, is the meeting from the 21st of July, 1813, here in Birmingham. So, you know, just over 206 years ago now, where you know, Richard Spooner, the squire, the High Bailiff was in the chair and um, proposed setting up a society called the Chamber of Manufacturers and Commerce. So these are some pictures of our original chamber house, 95 New Street. We've also got some lovely other items such as our, our signatory book, uh, going back to the 1920s, so notable individuals who have visited the chamber. I think there's a few royalty in there, you'll see there's an Albert um, and uh, a few folks who go by first name only. What are some of those letters? Uh, so these are letters that relate to the original um, mark of the chamber, the College of Arms. The symbolism within it is absolutely fascinating because it covers everything from geography to international trade and uh, the city's traders' ambitions to go across the globe. Good. And this item here is a uh, relates to the opening of Chamber House. So as you may be aware, Chamber of House was of course designed by the architect John Maiden. Fabulous piece of brutalism. And uh, yes. when he uh, originally designed it, it was a total concept building. So he did everything, uh, oversaw absolutely everything from the carpets to the floor coverings to the art. Uh, and it really was an icon of 1960s design. Okay.